Hey, what's up, everybody? It's the Crypto Ginger here. Guys, I want to take a very quick moment, go over some key highlighted articles and things that I would like for you guys to actually look into yourself just to kind of get a good general idea of what to be expecting in the very near future for not just fintech, but blockchain technology and the distributed ledger technology and those companies that are actually working in the fintech industry to help get these development stages going. Now, before we get into that information, I just want to say we have absolutely experienced a really nice little bull run that took place in the last 24 to 48 hours i'm hopeful that all of you guys were a part of that if not definitely look into your cryptocurrencies that you favor and i will say your top performing coins on coin market cap for example were definitely some of the most successful if you were into a stable coin that's really something that didn't have a lot of fluctuation in price points so again your top performing coins are the ones that are going to show the exceptional bull run effect there and just as an observation uh using coinmarketcap.com you can see that across the board again your top performing coins are still up and doing very well now i will say this i'm not a financial advisor nothing about this is financial advice but if you were to look back at 2017 going into 2018 just simply at xrp when it hit its all-time high which was roughly around three dollars and fifty cents give or take um we're sitting at a 35 cent xrp right now if xrp were to simply hit its all-time high again from where it's currently sitting that is a 10 times increase in your earnings. So again, I'm not a financial advisor. Nothing about this is financial advice. Just opening your eyes to what you could potentially be expecting to see if we start seeing bull rallies to start hitting, again, their all-time high. Now, when it comes to the topic of the news revolving around fintech and blockchain and distributed ledger technology, Ripple is at the forefront of a lot of this information here. And just recently, there was reference posted in regards to another kind of link that Ripple is a part of. And I just wanted to kind of go into that and just show you how big all this can actually really be here. So just recently on Twitter, I saw a link being actually posted around regarding the European Commission, which is actually going to be putting on a launch for the INA TBA, which that stands for the International Association of Trusted Blockchain Applications. Now, of course, this event is supposed to be streamed live today around 2.30 Central Eastern Time. And of course, actually, you can go a little bit further and see the link to this just to kind of give you a quick reference what this link goes to. So here you can see ec.europa.eu is actually a link to the European Commission site, or at least part of their page. And this particular page you can see is talking about the launch of the International Association of Trusted Blockchain Application. And of course, a little bit in-depth talk here, we can see that the INA TBA brings together industry, startups, and SME policymakers, international organizations, regulators, civil society, and standard-setting bodies to support blockchain and distributed ledger technology. And again, it's supposed to be live streamed in Brussels today, April 3rd. Now, a little bit more talking here. You can see that it says to unlock the full transformational potential and harness the benefits of the blockchain and DLT for businesses, the public sector, and the society at large, INA TBA aims to develop a framework that promotes public and private sector collaboration, regulatory convergence, and legal predictability and ensures the system's integrity and transparency. Now here it gives a list of all the featured speakers that are actually going to be part of this event here. And you can take a quick look at this and actually look a little bit more further into the speakers themselves. But the interesting thing when it comes to this right here and linking it directly to a company such as Ripple is that just recently Ripple came out stating that they are now affiliated or at least a part of this particular organization here. And just to kind of give you a quick reference of that, so at a quick glance on Ripple's Twitter handle, you can easily see they recently posted that they are thrilled to be a founding member of the INA TBA, and of course, they look forward to being a leading participant. This is a small little video of Mr. Brad Garlinghouse himself talking a little bit more about this. So you can see a major connection between Ripple and INA TBA, and of course, a little bit more in-depth talk about the INA TBA. Coming back to Neil Duncan, who was actually the original source that I saw and was referred to when it comes to the INA TBA in this particular event. He actually posted a couple of screenshots from the Europa.eu site uh, regarding its actual information uh, a little bit more in depthly. Here we can see that the INA TBA was actually created on March 6, 2019, and this was part of the EU Commission. And a little bit further talk here was to actually look into the blockchain and distributed ledger technology side of things. It does state that 105 founding members are organizations in Europe, North America, and Asia. They together 
together will work through INATBA on establishing a dialogue with public authorities and regulators around the world to foster a convergence of the legal framework applying to the distributed network economy. INATBA will also promote an open, transparent, and inclusive global model of governance and support the developed interoperability specifications and standards in sectors such as financial services, health, energy, agriculture, mobility, and public services. And of course, you can see here that he links also information about the European Commission. The European Commission is an institution of the European Union responsible for proposing legislation, implementation decisions, upholding the EU treaty, and managing the day-to-day -day businesses in EU. So again, a very, very big move when it comes to the EU Commission here with this particular organization, the INATBA, or also the International Association of Trusted Blockchain Applications, which Ripple is a major part of. And if you parallel this information with the information I just talked about in my last video, where Ripple got recognition from not only the White House, the World Bank, the IMF, the Federal Reserve, but even central banks as well, you're going to see that this right here is something on a very global scale. And having the name Ripple attached to all these major players out there is absolutely huge. We are absolutely going to see some major money coming into not just the entire cryptocurrency economy, but more importantly, coins such as XRP because it is a primary digital asset out there. It is also a bridge asset for other different types of currencies out there. So again, something to keep in mind when it comes to the expansion of what Ripple's trying to do on a very global scale and the connections that they are making here. Something else I wanted to go over very quickly when it comes to major connections being made here. So just recently, another voice in the XRP community posted some very interesting links, and I would definitely suggest everybody take a quick follow if you have an opportunity to do so. You can actually find this person, it's Crypto News Hunter, they're at CNH Quest, again on Twitter, and they posted this stating that the last bull run we missed platforms towards institutional investors. They want regulations both set for this year. This is a pinned post updated with regulation related news. And of course, it starts off with a screenshot from the U.S. Secretaries and Exchange Commission, the SEC. And this states here that the SEC staff to hold FinTech Forum to discuss distributed ledger technology and digital assets. And this is to be held May 31st. So again, a little screenshot there. Then it leads into what looks to be several different types of links. And again, I would highly suggest looking into this just to kind of update yourself on what to be expected for 2019 going into 2020, for example. He actually posts information about the custody for institutional investors. Uh, I thought a couple of these right here are very interesting. The institutional investor platforms that you can get invested on. And of course, this one right here is actually something that I would highly suggest looking into because this is actually brand new information that's just recently come out talking about a new bank for crypto traders has opened in Puerto Rico. And it just so happens to be the Mercantile Bank and Trust International and this is coming from San Juan. So again, a new Puerto Rico-based institution is actually creating a platform to actually have a traders get involved in different types of cryptocurrencies. They just recently opened for business. So again, very big news when it comes to that. So something to take a quick look at. And of course, this right here is the most intriguing part, is the list of regulation progress is taking place. And you can see that he actually links several different types of information regarding the countries that are currently in the process of working on regulations. You can see that Swiss is actually working on that. Russia, Middle East, India, Japan, Spain, China, Iran, the United States for sure, Pakistan, definitely other types of regulations that are taking place. But again, very, very big names when it comes to countries looking for regulations on cryptocurrencies, digital assets, the fintech technology, blockchain technology, the distributed ledger technology. You can see this is so expansive that this right here has all the opportunity to grow. And with Ripple at the helm of a a lot of this you can easily see how XRP is going to be one of those primary digital assets that all these companies are going to focus on, whether they're using XRapid or just simply using the XRP digital asset themselves. Again, this is definitely something to look into. It's quite a bit of information. So again, I would suggest everybody taking a quick look at this information here. I really do think that Crypto News Hunter did a very good job putting all this information together here just to show everybody what's happening under the radar and on a global scale here. A lot of these countries are absolutely looking into the regulatory concerns about cryptocurrencies, digital assets, the fintech part of this, which is again the blockchain or the distributed ledger technology. All of that right there is being looked at by major players out there and major companies. So 
Big things are happening, guys, and it's not just going to be small little shifts and the price point of XRP. We're going to see major flow of money coming into the cryptocurrency ecosystem. So something to be prepared for. And again, just go out there and do your own due diligence, do your own research on this information, and prepare yourself for what you think is going to be uh, a proper entry point for getting into cryptocurrencies for example again i'm not a financial advisor this is just to let you all know that there are things happening under the radar that people are going to be actually either left behind if they're not a part of or they're going to be experiencing something unbelievable because they were already a part of this as early adopters so again something to keep in mind let me know what you guys think about all this information and again give these people a follow when it comes to being on twitter outside of that guys thank you for being a part of this channel here thank you for liking and subscribing if you are new to the channel please hit the like and subscribe button and of course get this information shared to as many people as you possibly can so that they too could be early adopters and if you need to to secure cryptocurrencies either offline or on your mobile phone try out those links for the ledger wallet again something to secure your cryptocurrencies offline or just simply get yourself the uphold wallet have a couple cryptocurrencies on there you can monitor that and just kind of dabble for a little bit get yourself more acclimated to cryptocurrencies other than that guys i definitely appreciate you watching this and have a nice day bye bye